The Tampa Bay Buccaneers will visit the Kansas City Chiefs on Sunday, November 20th in Week 11 NFL action. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers might be coming off their best effort of the season as they are still breathing in the NFC wildcard race. But the Kansas City Chiefs have five straight in the victory column. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers are four and five straight up, four and five against the spread, and six and three on the over-under. Jameis Winston has shown some flashes of brilliance in his NFL career, and he was operating with a great deal of poise under pressure against the Chicago Bears last week, throwing for 312 yards. But it was really the Tampa Bay defense that rose to the occasion in the 36-10 victory, forcing Jake Cutler into one of his worst days as a pro. They had five sacks and limited Cutler to 182 yards through the air, 50 of which came on a Hail Mary pass at the end of the first half. As Chicago was coming off a pretty impressive performance themselves against the Vikings, it may have been surprising that they were just dominated in all phases of the game. Tampa Bay had the ball for 37 minutes. The Buccaneers are hoping that Doug Martin, who returned from injury with 16 carries for 33 yards against Chicago last week, will make a difference again this week. The Kansas City Chiefs are 7-2 straight up, 4-4-1 four, four, against the spread, and 2-7 and seven on the over-under. Currently, the Kansas City Chiefs are tied atop the AFC West, and they actually own the tiebreaker by virtue of a victory over the Oakland Raiders. They have won five consecutive games, and we're seeing flashbacks of last season when the Chiefs finished with 10 straight wins, rolling to a playoff spot after a 1-5 record to start. Tampa Bay has a 4-5 record, but they are just a game and a half out of the second wildcard spot in the NFC, so anything can happen from here on out. Kansas City has bounced back despite being well behind in some of their wins. Last week, they were down 17-0 with what appeared to be a fired-up Carolina Panthers squad, and they not only tied it, Marcus Peters stripped Kelvin Benjamin of the football and set up the winning field goal. Peters is tied for the league lead with five interceptions. He is also number one in the NFL with 15 passes defended. He will be a big problem this week for Jameis Winston. Another member of that secondary, Eric Berry, returned an interception for a touchdown. And he will have the assignment of slowing down Tampa Bay tight end Cameron Brake, who caught seven passes from Winston last Sunday one of them for a touchdown and the other six for first downs. If there's an area of weakness for the Chiefs, it's that they allow 4.7 yards per carry. Currently, Kansas City leads the league in takeaways, but they aren't two reliable laying points as they are just one in six against the spread in their last seven games at home. 